Ramna Ghani. A warm welcome to the show Sahara, the bridal decor Victoria. The show is directed by Farah Naz and it is produced by Ketan Sheikh and it is sponsored by Goldfinch Business Solutions LLC. I'm your host Tora and in this episode, episode 4, we are going to talk about Rajasthani themed anniversary celebration and Rajasthani cuisine. And for that, today we have somebody special who would be co-hosting with me uh, the Rajasthani food section segment. Amit. So, Amit, would you like to say something as you're appearing for the first time? Yes. No. First of all, thank you so much for inviting me to your show. Um, Epsilon TV, I've been a, 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 a long-time viewer of Epsilon TV, uh, multiple episodes. I, I have hardly missed any episode for the past so many years. Uh, what's enticing about Epsilon TV is is uh, you're not restricted to a particular topic, you know, um, and the and the content that you that you show to our to, to us and the viewers, you know, is it's it's greatly researched and and very nicely articulated. That's why you know I think it's it's one of the favorite shows that people want to listen to, and yeah, I like it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And uh, we would, uh, you know, like move uh, forward uh, with the Rajasthani cuisine uh, segment. But before that, as you are here, mm -hmm. I would like to ask you, you know, that this uh, episode is also about uh, Rajasthani theme anniversary. Right. So what what are your views on these kind of celebrations, like, you know, celebrating important dates, anniversaries? Is it important for you? Oh, it is very, very important for me. In fact, uh, anybody who is married, you know, uh, in today's world, we intend to you know celebrate wedding, you know, occasions and wedding ceremonies or anniversaries in different ways. You know, now there, there are certain people who who like to do you know, do it lavishly, mm -hmm. throw those throw those huge parties, okay. and there are some people who want to keep it very simple yeah. and precise. Mm -hmm. Right now, the intention is very simple. Intention that you know we they, we want to relive the moment uh, that happened at the time of wedding. And we also want to take the new memories, right. Right? Make new memories exactly, yeah, okay. and cherish those memories. You know, together mm. as we grow old as a couple, you know, um, you know, it, it's, it's with you every time you're there. You want to look at those older things, have fun, uh, look at the good things, enjoy things. And even so important. many yeah. incidents that you know take place in a wedding ceremony. Mm -hmm. Like for example, in my ceremony, I remember I planned for a very simple bridal entry. Uh, it, there was a floral jali, and I was supposed to walk under it, and my right. brothers were supposed to hold it. Okay, right. right at the time of my entry, they just vanished, <laughs> <laughs> and they were standing at the food counter eating. And being the bride, I don't know what I planned it in such a way. You know th that song didn't. Shaguna and somebody started playing the song also. My MC right. was not did not even started. Right. I got hold of them. I made them. I was like, stand and make it happen. <laughs> under pressure situation, right? Everybody is under pressure now. That still, happens in every yeah. marriage. It's always true for. Till no date, I remember. I mean, every anniversary, this is the first incident I think about it. And I really, really want, I really wanted to kill them. I mean, how could you do that? Spoilers. <laughs> now, any celebration for that matter, whether it's anniversary or birthday party or anything, mm -hmm. okay, it's just incomplete without good food. I think you would agree as you're a foodie, as far as I know. Yes. And when I'm talking about Rajasthani theme, Rajas, we spoke so much about the diversity of Rajasthan and uh, food culture of Rajasthan adds flavor to it, that right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, what do you think about it? I mean, what is your take on it? Right. You know, so, before we talk about the, the food, you know, one thing which we have to understand is, you know, uh, a food is reflection of a region, right? You know? now, some regions are dry, some regions are wet. Yes, right? correct. Now, Rajasthan is a, is a, is a dry region. Mm, so if you see the culinary style of Rajasthan is, is towards those those things which are widely available, which are dried in nature. Yeah. You can understand also the lack of lack of lack of ability of you know, fresh fruits and vegetables. Uh, water is a yeah. scarcity there. Yeah. You know? Now the food is also designed in a in a fashion where they use you know, substitute of, of these things. You know? yeah, and, yeah. and that's how you see over the years. Now today there is no scarcity of water. Now. Mm. But you see that the food culture still remains the same. The same yeah. yeah. People still want to have 
those food and cuisines which is which is running for the past you know thousands of years yeah. and they want to and and surprisingly it is still tasty you know people yeah, want to have yeah, it yeah rich right? in flavor Absolutely. you know the main purpose about talking about these the you know cooking style and all because that's what um, make a cuisine different i mean uh, it depends on the lifestyle of the people right. it depends what region they are in and then a cuisine is developed and that is the time when people find it interesting you know this is different from the other one as you said you know they find substitutes right, right. Um, rajasthan has of course developed with time you don't see that scarcity anymore right. unless and until in remote areas you see Small uh, yeah pockets, no? yeah correct so that paucity of water it had you know extend you uh, witness that extensive use of dairy products like buttermilk buttermilk is very refreshing because right. still now rajasthan is hot so when people think of something something to quench their thirst they would go for buttermilk they yes. use a lot of ghee they use a lot of butter yes. you know in their um, food breads and everything and even uh, beans dried lentils these are few of the thing gram flour is uh, the main element of their gravy so you know they are very rich in flavor and uh, that's the main ingredient of their cuisine and that's it makes right. very you know they are very different from other regions cuisine and um, as far as i know rajasthan predominantly is a vegetarian region uh, you know uh, up to an extent yes what you what you what you rightly said but also uh, rajputs are also a very important clan of rajasthan yes absolutely uh, now what has happened is over the years rajna raj that puts are the non vegetarian you know, they like to eat non vegetarian correct huh. and it saw evolution of non vegetarian dishes over the years huh. right the dishes like lal mas hmm. safed mas hmm. jangal mas hmm. right and there's something called khat khargosh correct now that is something a khargosh you know which uh, a dish made of, based on khargosh <clears throat> and it is there khargosh means rabbit let that me is correct. be yes. very clear with <laughs> yes and it is it is <laughs> right and still eaten in many parts of rajasthan and that's how it it's, is uh, yeah. yeah it's relished correct it is not totally vegetarian anymore yeah it's not totally vegetarian uh, you know looking at your face it looks like you run away to rajasthan right now even i am fond of uh, non vegetarian any day you know once what happened uh, you know uh, the first time when i tasted rajasthani food was in a wedding it was my friend's wedding she's actually a marwari so okay. she of okay. course invited me and i was like look a week a tender wedding the first thing that comes to our mind is the food and i was like a vegetarian food they had a huge spread but all vegetarian so i was wondering what to eat how to start so but you know when i went there and i saw that a huge layout they had different types of cuisines let me tell you different types of cuisines different type of starters then desserts and everything but the best corner was the rajas was the rajasthani corner a very well adorned food counter mm -hmm. the food counter was decorated thematically okay and then they had all the varieties of rajasthan all the specific dishes of rajasthan and the most interesting was the breads i mentioned before that they use a lot of uh, you know corn barley millets to prepare their breads right. that tastes tastes differently and it's very healthy like bajre ki roti was the first one that i tried and it is amazing they have these kind of food in the daily basis okay. it's rich right. in flavor you know uh, this bajre ka roti is served in a very simple way like with some no uh, some veg dish a little bit of pickle and then they make that lasun ki chutney garlic sauce which is very uh, yummy and it the entire plate looks very simple but it's healthy and delicious so do you have any of your favorites would you like to share well that's a very interesting question you know uh, a foodie like me you know for for that matter and who who loves rajasthani cuisine as well one of my favorite to start with start with will be you know uh, dal bati churma yes Now, right, right even so, i like it so so what happens so this 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 dish specifically you know uh, uh now now uh, bati is basically a, a fluffy dough yeah. you know a, a, a roti mm. you know which is which is made out of wheat you know uh, semolina mm. uh, and, and gram flour mm. and with salt and and milk and many more things yeah, like that correct. uh and also there's a non salted version of it mm. uh, which is which is deep fried mm -hmm. crushed mm -hmm. and and you know mixed with with the jaggery and mm -hmm. sugar uh -huh. right 
and that's why it's called you know churma because it's a mixture of you know uh, uh, that's how it is uh, okay. apart from that but, i'm so sorry yeah. to just stop you right there there's another there's one comment from a viewer uh -huh. iftikar rahman rajasthani curry yes and shahi gatte can be the options in fact i was just coming to that you know thank you iftikar rahman and another comment from naima parveen uh, interesting thank you so much naima parveen let me tell you they are our constant viewers they watch our shows and they take immense interest i specified before also and we really love you your um, excitement or your interest in watching the show it actually drives us to go on okay. thank you so much so yes. now you can continue you can yes. reply uh, if it are exactly also. so i was just coming to that you know the next best food <laughs> or cuisine for what what i would like is mm -hmm. gatte ki sabzi gatte ki sabzi is also you know it's 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 it's, it's a uh, it's a dough made out of you know brown flour yeah. uh, deep fried deep fried it's like a dumpling dumpling exactly yeah. exactly then you have also they call this you know curry right uh, rajasthani right. curry you know which is yogurt based yogurt based yeah. you know, a, a curry if you talk about non vegetarian there's something as i mentioned lal mas mm -hmm. now lal mas is is a, uh, is a is a is a Goat uh, meat. I think it's red, very spicy. Very spicy, uh, rich, yeah. uh, and very tasty. Also, something called as Mohan mas. Now, that's something which which a lot of people have not heard or, or tried, but you should try. So, Mohan mas is also a, a goat meat based mm. uh, curry, prepared in milk. Yeah. Okay, and garnished with you know, uh, with cardamoms, uh, with poppy seeds, yeah, and lemon. Yeah. Right. So this is a complete contrast between the two meat dishes that I'm talking mm -hmm. about. But every time these these dishes are served, right? Yeah. People want to have it again, and again. they would remember that. Yeah, it That's sounds so uh, tasty. I mean, Absolutely. if you have such see, these are main courses. These can come in uh, Rajasthani themed main courses, right. whether veg or non-veg. Whatever we have. Spoken till now, it could be a part of your main course in your wedding function. Yeah. Now, interestingly, you know, uh, the sweet food of Rajasthan, you would also agree that it's really famous. Like I was uh, in my third episode, I spoke second episode, I spoke about you know Jaipur is very famous for it has got a very interesting food culture like um, the Johari Bazaar. Then uh, you know the Bapu Bazaar and also Masala Chowk. They have. Like immense oh, variety yes. of those uh, samosas. They have mirchi pakora. I'm taking these authentic uh, names because this is how they are pronounced. And people from different parts of the world they come and they visit those streets just for these, just to enjoy yes. these street foods with true. those uh, special chutneys that they make. See, I my mouth is watering. <laughs> I can't <laughs> control my samosa. Chad is my favorite. Now, when you have such kind of street food options in uh, Haldi and Mehendi, you must be knowing that Haldi and Mehendi is more of very comfortable ceremony, and right. we have stalls. You know, yes. stalls for um, you know those bangles. There are different different stalls for you know accessories. So now you, for a Rajasthani team, you just have a stall of street food of Rajasthan. People find it; they just go mad. You know, your ceremony is set for that entire wedding. I would that say that is true. That it, elevates yeah. the entire party to a different yeah. level. You know, correct, correct. where people are munching those those things which are not filling your stomach, oh. but they want to use it again, again, eat it again, again. You know? There's a kulfi party. Yeah, party again. Yeah. Kulfi oh my god. When you just have it in your dessert. I mean, people will forget what what are moves and uh, you know pastries, and they will run yes. towards kulfi pani. But to yes. try something different, yes, yeah, and it is, it is tastier as well, very tasty. That's very. why the people would you get in different flavors. It. Pista, kesar, then you add those fl uh, flavors and the faluda and yes. everything. It it's delicious. Now, would you like to say, say something on the Grand Thali, which is very interesting part? It's a actually custom of Rajasthan where you know the thali is served. To that people. is true. So, would you like to say something on that? Yes, no. Uh, a wedding event or any any Rajasthani event, mm -hmm. uh, including a, a wedding service, mm -hmm. can never be complete without thali of Rajasthan. Correct. Now, thalis are those big plates where the thalis can be. For vegetarian and for non-vegetarian, ah. right? 
<laughs> now thalis are those big plates where multiple dishes are served in small you know, katoris or you know, small mm. vessels. Now the number of these these cuisines or you know, these uh, items can be from ten to hundred. Absolutely, like it can vary from ten to hundred. Not yes. even ten. It starts from thirty, I would say, yes. and it goes. Uh, okay, another uh, comment I would like to take. Uh, do you have kulfi in the Rajasthani dessert? or the rajas um, just a second do you have kulfi i'm so sorry um there's some problem i can't read rajasthani it. desert or in the rajasthani desert oh <laughs> yes <laughs> it is both both yes both. we have uh, rajasthani kulfi desert in rajasthani desert <laughs> 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 right, 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 right. Okay. And it's your wish, you where know, you want to have it. <laughs> that was wonderful. Thank you so much for that. Okay, now uh, continue with the thali. Yeah. So, uh, so that's what I'm saying. So, thali, it is an integral part. It has to be there because people know whenever they come to these celebrations of of any Rajasthani family or couples, they expect to at least have a thali. Yeah. Right. So it is there. It is there for people to have. People love it. Uh, you know, I think I think we we should go forward and show as to what we have for them. Yes, but yeah. before that, another comment. I think so, people are so much interested in this cuisine. I not only that, when it comes to food, we go mad. We like trying different. But honestly, as far as I know, Amit, uh, he is very he's a big foodie. He loves trying different cuisines. Like uh, I like, but uh, there are some limitations. But uh, not with him. He would love to go mad with food. Okay, let me take another comment. Seems like you guys planning your own anniversary ce celebration. Wonderful. Soon you do that. Yes, very soon. You know. <laughs> soon you do that, and that Plans was the purpose I asked you. What you, you know? What do you think about anniversary? That is the only purpose. Now we, we have the plans continue. ready. It's the implementation is what is required, and so we have all soon set. Soon it is coming. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so now after this conversation, a wonderful conversation with you, Amit, and Thank so, so many things from your side about the non-vegetarian items of Rajasthan. It was just wonderful to have you. But um, viewers, we have an interesting video. We went to a Rajasthani place and uh, I mean a restaurant where they serve authentic Rajasthani uh, food in Thali, as Amit said, you know, uh, number of items, with sweets, and everything. So we would like to show you the video. I hope you would enjoy enjoy it, and we'll get an idea what exactly we were talking about. And Amit, I have to. Dal bati churma, mirchi pakoda, dal, dahi kari, gatte ki sabzi, khajur halwa, which is also called date, it's a sweet of dates, aloo sabzi, paneer sabzi, and mutter sabzi. And this is a small, I think this is of chana, papar. Papar is a must. There are two types of chutneys. This is the chas or the buttermilk you can see. And the, this is chandan and kesar drink, which is orange in color. There are more than 13 different kinds of you know, dishes that they serve in a particular thali. It looks amazing, it tastes amazing. Part of the thali is it has number of items. That's why it is called the, you know, like a grand thali. It uh, had dal, it had uh, curd curry, the different sabzi, the vegetable items like the potato curry, which is a little bit too sweet and spicy. It had a uh, sweet and spicy flavor to it, the paneer, then the peas curry, 
then it had the uh, mirchi pakora which is another authentic food of Rajasthan dal bati surma like when you talk first about the any Rajasthan dish that comes to our mind is dal bati surma it's a very authentic dish it, the taste the flavor is just excellent it has uh, they have provided us with roti puri so khichri and a little bit of tawa pulao so a multiple combination of things i myself is a non-vegetarian i like veg only when it is actually really good and i find this rajasthani thali it has got a perfect um, flavor that i crave for it is not too spicy it is not too sweet a perfect combination Hope you liked the video and that was the Rajasthani Thali for you. And we wow. really enjoyed the Thali. Hope you had, uh, you know, you also enjoyed watching it. I, it had number of items, the Gatte Ki Sabzi that we were talking about, Paneer Sabzi. Those are different curries of Rajasthan made in very Rajasthani style. A uh, few of the items not shown in the thali are khichri, you know, then the tawa pulao. It's a mixed rice, vegetable rice kind of thing, which is very authentic, uh, mixed, you know, done with uh, Rajasthani spices. So they were all very tasty. You tell me you should be knowing it better because I could see you, he never stopped only. I mean, he was having roti, rice, everything. You relished it, you should say. And when you get an opportunity, why to waste it you know, on, on things like this? You, know, you get an opportunity to try these things, you try it. That's the beauty of Ali. Like yeah. Small quantities, mm -hmm. you can try it multiple times. You know, That's what it makes different, right? Now, this was it. I think uh, you all enjoyed the Rajasthani cuisine segment. Now, coming to the next segment, that is our anniversary. So, Amit, I got your views about anniversary. Mm -hmm. But I would like to know from, we would like to know from the viewers, what are your, you know, how important anniversaries are for you? Any important dates and everything? Because please comment and let us know. We can exchange our thoughts also. So, I would tell mine. Uh, any important date is really important, um, special for me because it makes you feel special, reminds of, reminds you about those uh, old memories. Like we, when we talk about anniversaries, these are celebrations that recognizes the milestones or life's events, that right? Is true. Yes. So now we are when we plan wedding. We put in a lot of effort in times of, you know, mentally, physically, financially, and also a lot of creative effort we put. So it makes sense only when you celebrate it later and look back to those fond memories that the effort that you have put. Yeah. Exactly. So that is it. Uh, it actually helps you uh, show that you have crossed a milestone. You know, you have achieved something. Not only about the grand wedding planning. I think we should always celebrate uh, the promises that we make. What Absolutely, do you think? Absolutely, we do not. Uh, you know, being a couple or you know, being mm -hmm. married, uh, these these small parties, you know, it brings back those memories as to how things have yes. gone. You know? yes. And you will always see that. You know, when you see these videos later. You always feel happy about you know you, you talk about things which are not you know, not gone yeah, 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 not gone so <laughs> fine but still you know, talk about and laugh about it you know that's what is important right <laughs> the small wedding, small things I was the DJ <laughs> I was the decorator <laughs> my mom thought that I should be doing everything necessary when draped in my sari and I was DJing. I didn't know what I was I the bride or the DJ. I was the choreographer. <laughs> so when uh, my in my anniversaries, I only look back to those memories, all fun with your family, your friends, and the promises that we made together. Yes. You know, uh, married life is not too rosy. 
nor you know neither it's too rosy nor too difficult you would agree it yeah. right it doesn't have any rule it doesn't have any policies you cannot google can, can never help you i mean sometimes we type na uh, five steps to best married life it will never help you okay one comment from uh, iftika rahman food is one of the most important elements of every wedding if there is one thing that guests remember the most it is the variety and the quality of food they have at wedding absolutely yes. correct perfectly because yes. at the end of the day after all the fun they will eat and go back home and you talk, about, you food talk about food only the food layout so now coming back to the anniversary thing what i was saying that google cannot help you honestly like uh, because life has got its own twists and turns it's True. about how yeah. you stick stand by each other how you face fight back all those odds embrace the happiness you know all these things reminds you that you have crossed a milestone that is true That's right it also yes. helps you reconnect and and the bond you know that the bond keeps on growing it becomes stronger and stronger because mm-hmm. you have lived those good and bad moments together you know? good good and, and you're celebrating those yeah. right yeah. as 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 wedding ceremonies what can be better than that you know? yeah. and and you take those memories and grow old with that mm-hmm. yeah right i mean and Fantastic. with nowadays we got so busy in our daily life sometimes you know we don't have uh, time for each other because it's not because we don't love each other it's just that our attention got uh, diverted into different direction right. different pockets of life where you know you have to give that priority you have to divert your priority in different directions so you know anniversaries are uh, those days or those moments that help you reconnect build more memories new memories and helps you to move on right so it is very um, you should uh, you know celebrate those special dates it's it it will just help you it will help you uh, grow old in a better way healthier way like i love it like i have seen my parents doing it even um, their anniversaries our birthdays those special dates are always celebrated and still now you would be agreeing even if it is a small pastry i want a uh, cake in my anniversary or wedding i would cut it i don't want a grand celebration as you said in the beginning it doesn't matter whether it is you know like big or small celebration just celebrate it together same way amit um as you know that we have a viewer like who are very sweetly approached to sahara mm-hmm. uh, they have this 10th anniversary coming up very soon okay. and they are planning to uh, do their you know celebration in a very intimate way so they okay. ask for some ideas to us okay. and let's see what they have to uh, say and sure. let's have a look at the couple let's watch the video together hope sure. you would also enjoy oh, i would love it. Let's see. You want to go? Oh. Hi Sahara, I am Meenal. Hi, I am Vimal. We are planning our 10th anniversary. We want to celebrate it with close friends and families. We are just looking for a memorable event 
without much of a fuss. And it should be more of a close-knit affair. So we are approaching Sahara. We want ideas on decor and entertainment. More of entertainment, we want to make memories with close friends and family because it is our 10th anniversary and the theme is Rajasthani theme because we love Rajasthani feel and the look, the decor. So looking forward to some exciting ideas. Thank you. So, Amit, that how was did you beautiful. Meet? Ah, lovely couple, no? Yes. So, what did you like the best about them? You know, the thing is, you know, they want to keep it very simple. Mm. Looking at them, you can figure out they're very simple people. They want to keep it simple. Now, that's why you have these shows, right? People take ideas. Um, they want to explore ideas, you know, try different things, talk yeah. within house and say, so what's what's their character and how they want to you know, do okay. something. I'll just take a comment from Epsilon TV. Is there any possibility to celebrate uh, divorce in Raj? <laughs> oh my God, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yes. you know it's a very innovative idea i ha honestly i have never thought about it divorcing in a rajasthani style but i will surely put in my ideas in doing it what do you say uh, yeah, yeah? it's a good idea that. i mean you know even separation should be in a half, half. You, have to work that. It's difficult, but you don't do it but manage it <laughs> you <yes>. don't do it <laughs> <laughs> okay, now coming back uh, to the video of uh, Meenal and Vimal. Uh, firstly, thank you so much for approaching to Sahara. Uh, lovely couple you both are. I mean, uh, it's lovely to see you both together. Fond memories we could see in the video. And now uh, their request was very simple. It's their 10th anniversary and they want to uh, not only celebrate in a uh, you know very simple way. One thing, when I spoke to them, uh, one thing that they mentioned, they, there is a courtyard at their house. So very limited number of people they are supposed to uh, they are supposed to call, and they want to make it a high tea party, okay. not a dinner party, a high right. tea party. Simple, sweet, a small gathering of close friends and relatives, and you know, like uh, you know, whoever closer to them. And um, we have uh, made a concept around what they have asked for okay. and um, let's see what uh, what is the concept hope meenal and vimal you will like it they also wanted involvement of their guests okay. to make memories they don't want it like keep it like come eat talk and go there little bit of activity a little bit of games and everything so around that we have uh, prepared a concept so let's watch it sure let's do that. <clears throat> I mean, uh, for this, sec uh, you know, that decor thing planning, uh -huh. you were not a part of it completely, but you know exactly what was going on the planning right. process. So right. how do you, you give me your viewpoint. Do you think this is apt for the kind of party they are looking at? I mean, that's what, that's what they, you know, they said. You, was, you also can take part and, you know, give your views on it. Okay. Another uh, comment from Iftika Rahman. Um, at Epsilon TV, that's a wonderful comment. I saw a yacht rental company put just a second. It's really I can't put an ad for celebrating mm. divorce and, and separation as well. So why not? 
Yeah. Why not? Absolutely. Why yeah. not? No, we have never done but honestly, anything like really that. Hard. It is doable. You, you, it is workable. <laughs> it is doable. Absolutely. We can create a whole story behind Why it. Why are you and so excited <laughs> about it? I was just giving my I idea. I will you know, not if, let it happen. Don't if, worry. If, 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 you know, our viewers wants to have I an idea, know. why not present to them? I right? agree to it. <laughs> but why do you look so excited? I want to know. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. That's why, you know. <laughs> Okay, now uh, coming back uh, to the you know the decor and the entire plan. What do you have to say? You know, as as the as they mentioned, mm-hmm. simple and sweet. They wanted very minimalistic decor, exactly. not too much because that's it's an animal. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Simple and sweet, mm-hmm. not too many dishes. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Clean. People, small people will come. Mm-hmm. A small group will come. They'll enjoy, sit, talk. That's going to happen. Absolutely. If you have too many things, uh-huh. there's going to be a you know. Lot of chaos. Hmm. Lot of chaos. It's difficult to handle something. Yeah. Right. This yeah. Um. Apart, now I'll come. I'll give some educate. I'll, I'll try to educate the people. You know, with my own tips. And <laughs> okay. Now, if you see the, you know, welcome entry. That's very basic, colorful, mm-hmm. and even the artifacts used there are not authentic Rajasthani. You can see the dream, colorful dream catches, given a very fusion look to it, not a very ethnic look. Right. So, as it's a tenth anniversary, they must be in a fun mood, not too much of you know those puppet hanging and everything. You can do away with them. Have some nice signages written so and so, you know, Vimal and uh, you know. 10th anniversary and all very uh, casual lounge seating with some you know the colorful fabric with uh, draping with colorful fabric tassels and everything where people can sit and talk and chit chat okay now cake cutting is very important i told you that i want cake cutting in my every birthday it could be a small piece of cake i don't want a grand cake uh, arrangement so it could be a small piece of cake I'm happy with it. Similarly, it's a tenth anniversary, so you need a grand arrangement. So cake cutting would be one of the, yes, one of the options. Yeah. You can have a confetti blast. If Tikar Rahman last time gave a bright idea, you know, what about confetti blast in a wedding ceremony? Even in anniversary, you can do that. You know, instead of having flower shower, you can have a nice confetti blast. No? Why not? You know, why not? Yeah. If, yeah. if it has to be. Um, extra wagon. Why not make it that? Mm, way, yeah. Know? The not? small things. In our intimate party, also this uh, these things add grandeur. Yes, right. It does. Now, um, if you have noticed, uh, it says shy party, mm-hmm. which is the high tea uh, party. High tea starts from around five o'clock, mm-hmm. and it is it goes on to you know like it is a, a function of two to three hours, mm-hmm. maximum three and a half hours. Okay. So you know people can go back. There are no dinner arrangements for that. It's just a normal tea party with some snacks and tidbits and everything. Right. So in terms of food, also there it's all Rajasthani food that we thought would be nice. Mm-hmm. With the Rajasthani theme, Rajasthani high cuisine. You know the high for the high tea party. You can keep those pias kachori. You can keep mirchi pakora. So you know those things that you enjoy having with tea, correct? Yes. And then the ending could be the ghevar, the sweet dishes of Rajasthan. Oof, again, my mouth is watering. What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> now, the only way to 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 you quench your thirst is you have to go and travel to these places again. Take me anniversary. Be, Remember, be, I think okay. We, we should. Okay, I just missed one comment. If I can get it back, please. I think it was from Naima Parveen. Okay, good idea. Thumbs up. Thank you so much, Naima Naima Parveen, for your comment. Okay. Now, this was the entire thing about uh, the 10th anniversary party. Hope Meenal and Vimal would love the idea um, and will get back to us, of course. And viewers, you also liked it. Uh, you can keep anniversaries that simple also. Now, one thing I want to add that uh, as Vimal and Minal approached us, you know, they wanted some ideas. Viewers, we are there for you. If you want to ask us something, you want some ideas regarding uh, your any kind of function, be it a birthday party, anniversary, you can approach us. Sarah would uh, love to make some plans and show it in the show. And if you want to share your special moments also, like your wedding, um, pictures or any special party pictures please do share with us in our page and 
and, and we'll present it as a story. Of no? course, we yeah. can present it as a story. Okay. And now, uh, like Vimal and Meenal, there's another viewer, Prashu Prasha, Prashansa. I'm sorry, Prashansa and Pankaj. They are from Rajasthan. Basically, now they have moved to Bangalore. They are basically from Rajasthan. They also approached Sahara because they saw this Rajasthani theme and they loved it. They loved every element of. Uh, they are married now. They could plan for uh, some other function in their yeah. family and uh, share some of their beautiful pictures from their wedding and other celebration, their anniversary. They also knew about this Rajasthani anniversary um, episode because right. I right. spoke uh, about it before in the in episode three. So let's have a look at uh, those lovely the lovely couple, Pankaj and Prashansa. So let's enjoy it. So, liked it? So I love it. So cute. I mean, so lovely pretty, couple. Yes. We should do something like this. You know, we should make some uh, nice pictures together. I think it's been dark that you have not done anything of this. So <laughs> it's very, very you important. never do it? I, I so always I will have plans. It. You just plan? <laughs> Execution is zero. <laughs> so, <laughs> I plan, I execute. So, very I'll do something good. for you. Anyway, we have come to the end of the show. It was a wonderful show with Amit co-hosting with you. It was lovely. I had a great company. I mean, uh, as a co-host and uh, with your opinions and views, it was really lovely to have you in the show. Okay. And uh, viewers, it was lovely to have your comments. Thank you for being with us. And we will see you again uh, next Sunday, same time, episode 5. And now episode 5 is coming with a new theme. I mean, do watch that episode because oh, I do. yeah, I do. it's a new theme, completely different. It's not, uh, uh, you know, like ethnic. You would love it. Okay, another um, comment. I'll take one comment. Once people decorate their wedding venue very simply, wedding planner totally changed their perspectives with their unique style. Absolutely, that's why wedding planners are there. To give their, uh, you know, special touch, they exactly can tell you or guide you what can make, you know, when you give an idea, what are the flavors to be added in it, what can make your party more vibrant, right. isn't right. it? Exactly. Yeah. So that's why my mother made me the DJ. The. And it, it is as, as you rightly mentioned. I'll just add one point. To that. Mm -hmm. So thinking of wedding planning and doing wedding planning are two different things. Right? Mm. A lot of effort that goes in. Yeah every step, every individual, every group, you know, and sequence where it's putting things together, it is very, very difficult, you know. Yeah, it, it is, hats it off is, to them. You, you have to try it again and again. Only then you can, you know, be perfect. I mean, there's nothing called perfect, but, you know, you can do better. Of the time. Mm -hmm. But, yes, you know, I, I encourage people to go to these wedding planners, you know, uh, because you might not know there are a lot of many things that, that you can achieve. Hmm. Wonderfully hmm. and easily by taking help from these individuals hmm. or these group of people. Hmm. Yes. Wonderful thought. And now, time to say goodbye. Amit, thank you so much. And viewers, thank you to you too. Bye bye. See you again next week with a new theme. Thank you so Good much. Good night. Take care. Good night.